Hi guys, it's me, Hara, all of you. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. It's been a while. I know, it's been a while since I last filmed. But actually, I did film a segment of what I thought was going to be a vlog. Honestly, maybe three weeks ago or even a month ago. But then everything just went downhill again. We went back in lockdown. We still are. Like, Italy is divided in uh, regions, and each region has a different kind of lockdown. Some places are more strict, some places are less strict. We are um, in a re I am in a region in which lockdown is pretty much, I mean, everything's closed. Okay, that's it. Long story short, almost everything is closed. So, um, no vlogs. I was like, I'm gonna film this, because I, I actually did a haul video back in the day. And then I thought I'm gonna add a vlog and go out and about and show you guys the things that I bought. But then that never happened. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna switch on the camera. Today I wanted to get a little glammed up and I did apply a makeup after like a month. And I thought I'm just gonna talk to the camera and show you guys the little things I got. Not a lot, but what I got, I really, really like. So let's start chatting basically. So the first thing I want to show you is actually this sweater that I'm wearing. I really like it. It's giving me major, major Christmas vibes. What do you think? Um, actually, follow me on Instagram because on Instagram, I always show you guys immediately the new things I buy, especially on my stories. So this is not new if you follow me on Instagram. It's from J. Crew. I actually don't buy much from J. Crew, hardly ever because it ships from the US and it's always a hassle because you have to pay, I mean, you can, you obviously, they give you the uh, possibility to pay customs in advance, which I'm all for, but it's, when you sum everything up, uh, customs and shipping and everything, it's, it's a lot. So that's why it's not convenient, but I really, really wanted to get my hands on this sweater because I really, really like it. What do you think? I think it's super cool. Very Christmassy, very winter vibes, and I, I like it. I got it in a size L. It's currently on the website because it's current season. So if you want to get your hands on it, you definitely can. I did place another order on Cezanne because I just cannot get enough. I have a problem with Cezanne. Seriously, it's, it's, it's an addiction. It has become an addiction. Every time they post on their Instagram and they say, new collection launching, I was like, yes. So anyway. They are a winter collection launched and I got a couple of things. Right, so this is the first item I wanted to show you guys. It still has the tag on because I didn't, I never had the chance to use it. That's the thing. This is a sweater dress. I really, really love it. It has the buttons on the side, so it's giving me Balmain vibes. And uh, yeah, love it. Um, I'll put a picture so you can see it better. It comes, uh, it has a very good length because I like the fact that it comes above the knee. In the picture, the model is wearing a belt, which I guess is a good idea because as you can see, this sweater is actually quite oversized. I could have gone for a size small, this is a size medium, but then I thought maybe the size small would be too short. So I think medium is a good um, size for me and if I just want to cinch it up, I could wear a belt or whatnot. Anyway. That's that, and I really wanted to wear it now, you know, before the super winter cold kicks in. But here I am, it still has the tag on, I haven't worn it yet. But anyway, I really, really like it. I think a grey sweater dress, even black, uh, is such a key piece, a versatile piece, something that you can use um, for anything really, for work, for going out, for whatever. It looks really, really nice. Um, I was imagining this dress with stockings and my um, combat boots or even my Chloe Susanna boots, you know, whatever ankle boot I'm feeling to wear. It just looks, just looks nice and it's 100%, I think it's wool or alpaca, whatever. Cezanne's quality is really right up there, top notch. So yeah, that's that. Can't wait to wear this beauty, but um, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be a while. Anyway, that's that. And then another piece from Cezanne that I got is this sweater, which I've actually already worn several times, may I say. And look how pretty it looks. 
guys i love this sweater so so much this too gives me major christmas vibes but you know i mean it's not that i'm gonna wear it only now on christmas but you know what i mean it's very happy colorful festive kind of look and i really really like it it's a chunky sweater and it has this pattern so cute, so pretty, it's definitely me. This also I got in a size medium. I always get a size medium in Cezanne and somehow it always works for me. So yeah, that's that. Um, I love it. I mean, Cezanne always makes great items in their collection, but this autumn, winter, I feel that they really uh, were outstanding. I just, I just love everything they launched. I literally had to control myself and restrain myself not to get everything. Because, I mean, so, so nice, so beautiful. Prices are, in my opinion, very uh, affordable. I mean, this uh, this sweater, I think I paid 100 euros. Same for the dress. No, dress maybe slightly more, 130, 140. But, you know, for uh, an all-wool um, sweater or sweater dress, I think it's very, very reasonably priced. So, yeah, that's that. Love it. And this, as I said, I wore a lot ever since I got it. it. Keeps super warm. Goes without saying. Maybe I could film a video of a collection of all my Cezanne sweaters. And then, guys, the next two items are fabulous. Super, super excited to show you guys. One item I actually already featured on my Instagram. The other one, I haven't yet. These two items as well, I haven't worn yet. For obvious reasons, I have nowhere to go. But um, I did just make my heart sing and I'm so, so excited to show you. We can say that these two next items that I'm going to show you guys are my Christmas presents to myself, basically. Um, yeah, that's just no other way to put it. So let's start with the first one. It's actually a clothing item. And um, for the past few months, I've been on a hunt for a leather jacket. Okay, that's, the, that's where the whole story begins. Uh, I've had my leather jacket from Muba for years, years and years and years because it's just a staple. I find that when you find a leather jacket that works for you, just stick to it. You don't need to get more than one. So I loved my Muba jacket. Uh, I have two actually, one in black, one in beige. And throughout the years, they've, come e they've become more soft and buttery. Leather jackets is one of those things that the more you use, the more years go by, the better they look. But um, yeah, after so many years, I thought, you know what, I, I think I'm due for an upgrade. I want to get something new. So I started looking, I started looking. The first uh, store that I checked was All Saints, you know, the website. But I mean, their, their leather jackets are amazing. I mean, obviously, but nothing really excited me. Nothing really wowed me. So um, I was looking and looking and I thought, you know what, it's almost winter. We're just gonna close that subject and find, try finding another one next year. Well, I couldn't have said that fast enough that I saw a couple of videos on YouTube of girls that I follow and admire and I thought, that's that. They heard me and they gave me the answer. So the first girl is Claire Chanel. I like Claire. I like her style, I envy everything she has. And in one of her videos, she was wearing this leather jacket. And my eyes literally popped out of, from my face. I was like, good Lord, that jacket is, we're, we're starting to, you know, get an idea of what I want. Then I watched another video from Maria Draganova and she managed to snatch that jacket. Actually, she managed to get it at a discount because I think the Black Friday sales were going on. I thought that's it. I think I need to start doing some research. By the time I started doing my research, the Black Friday sales were over. But I thought, I don't care. This is something that, it's not an impulse purchase. This is something that I wanted to get eventually. Now is the time. I have it. It's in front of me. I don't care if I'm going to pay, pay, pay full price. And so I got it. What am I talking about? Boy, it's heavy because obviously it's a leather jacket and there's a lot of hardware. But uh, I'll put pictures so you can properly see. Anyway, and voila, guys! I got a Balmain leather jacket. Who would have thought? Guys, this jacket is a, is a piece of art. Like, words cannot describe. I'm looking at it in the viewfinder. 
it's open, but it is amazing. I fell in love and uh, when I saw it in person, I fell in love all over again because it is that beautiful. I mean, it's a signature. It has Balmain written all over it. Not because of the actual label, but because when you look at the style and you see it, you cannot not say, oh, that's, that's not Balmain. It's Balmain. It has the hardware, it has the structured shoulders, um, multiple zippers, multiple, multiple zippers, so you can close it on whatever side you choose. And it's amazing. It costs an arm and a leg. I think it's maybe one of the most, if not the most expensive clothing piece I own. And I will use this for the rest of my life because it is amazing. Oh, and by the way, I got it from Farfetch. And um, at first I wanted to get it in the champagne gold, but then my size wasn't available. So I thought, okay, I'll get it in the silver. I don't really care about the, what color the hardware is. I'm not one to, you know, wear all silver or all gold. I mix and match very easily. It's not a problem for me. So I thought, okay, I thought, I, so that's what I thought I bought, the leather jacket in the silver hardware. But then when it arrived, it actually came in the champagne gold, which I'm even more happy about because that's what I wanted initially. So I don't know, I guess on Farfetch, they must have got the sizing and the pictures crisscrossed or whatever. So yeah, just be aware that this jacket at least from the pictures I've seen, comes in two types of hardware, so you can choose. Anyway, guys, what do you think? I can't wear to wear it, although I don't, I don't know, it depends on the weather and it depends when this bloody lockdown will be over. I do want to wear it at least once before the winter starts. And yeah, that's that. I mean, needless to say, it's, it's soft, but it will get even more soft the, the more I use it. And um, then these are the details on the cuffs. You obviously got the zipper and then this um, pattern on the uh, sleeve. So it's really, really nice. All, really, really nice. Although my arms are quite short. So I will inevit inevitably have to fold the sleeves as per usual. But I don't care. This jacket is everything. I really love the hardware. Uh, on the, for me, the, the, the most beautiful feature of this jacket is the shoulders because it's a very straight, you know, I, you all know me, I love everything that emphasizes my shoulders. So this has the buttons and I think it has, yeah, it has a pretty good padding on the shoulders. So yeah, very, very nice, very, very heavy, but very, very nice. So yes, that's, that's the Balmain jacket. I, I can't believe I actually ended up buying a Balmain leather jacket because truth be told, I actually sort of gave up on Balmain. Um, because their sizing was just all over the place. But this time I thought, I'm just going to try one more time and see if it works. I did go for like a super big size because that's how it is with Balmain. I mean, that's, that's something that I don't like about the brand. Um, they have an idea of the woman's body that's completely not realistic. I got it, I got my jacket in a size 48, Italy 48. And for a normal brand that size for me it's it's big i know i'm not super thin and slender but never have i bought a size 48 so yeah but in balmain that's how you need to go so yeah that's all for clothing then i have one another uh then i have another um christmas present that i got for myself and this is something that i actually saw about a month ago from my essay, uh, she posted stories on her WhatsApp. And when I saw this picture, like, oh, I was like, oh God, I wish I could have them. Then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna get them for Christmas for myself. This too, I haven't worn yet because I haven't been going out. How many times can I repeat that? Not enough eventually. But uh, yeah, so what are these? Oh, guys, I got these beautiful pair of Chanel earrings. How beautiful are they? Guys, seriously, words cannot express the fabulousness and the glam and everything they are. They are so beautiful and out of this world. Um, yeah. I, do you guys remember when was it last year when those Chanel earrings came out and everybody and their mother got it? Well, not everybody and their mother because they're obviously very expensive, but you know what I mean? all like the it 
Instagrammers and bloggers, the ones that said Chanel, you know, those long earrings. Oh, I love those earrings so much and I obviously wanted to get my hands on those. But at the time, the pandemic was not among us and Chanel was not shipping anywhere. So I didn't even try to get my hands on those earrings. Then, here we are one year later and Chanel launched these ones which actually has the whole Chanel, Chanel uh, writing on each earring and honestly not because I own these but I think that these ones are actually better than the Chanel ones because I always thought well if I'm wearing Chanel and I'm facing only one side if somebody doesn't know about these earrings they could say why is she wearing a earring that says Nell or why is she wearing a pair of earrings that just says Sha? Maybe her name is Sha or Cha. You know, it's just not... I mean, if you know Chanel, you know Chanel. But if you don't know, it can be a bit stupid. So these ones, on the other, on the other hand, I mean, can't go wrong. It says Chanel. So yes, this is what they look like. They are silver and I don't care if it's silver and gold. I'm going to rock these two together big time, okay, big time. I cannot wait to, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. Can you imagine with like a high ponytail? I mean, obviously it's Chanel, so it goes without saying that the price was ridiculously high. Also considering that this just, this is not even fine jewelry. This is costume jewelry, but it's the brand you're paying for. And I was definitely willing to, because I feel that this type of earrings, I mean, if you manage to get it then and there, otherwise you might not be able to, you know? Uh, so yeah, I don't even need to make excuses. I just wanted it and I got it. So yeah, that's that. Gosh, we chatted a lot. Just for these few items, we did have a nice chat and I'm glad we did because I really missed you guys. I just miss chatting and talking to you guys. I did want it, I mean, my dream was actually to show all these new, well, at least some of the new items that I show you guys at, in action in a vlog. I wanted to start a new vlog with the dial jacket and the earrings and say, oh guys, here I am, look what I got. But uh, yeah, that never happened. And I thought instead of waiting too long, might as well just switch on the camera and show you guys, especially for the Zazan sweaters, they are available now. And um, if you want to get your hands on them, get them, get it because they are quality pieces and I always recommend um, Suzanne. Um, fabulous, keeps warm, great price, great quality. So yeah, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Are you in the Christmas mode yet? I hope you are. I'm forcing myself to be, even though I'm not doing anything, uh, because just gotta get, gotta get moving. Okay, can never stop. So I hope I manage, I hope my next video is actually a vlog. I like filming vlogs so, so much because I know that you guys enjoy them too. I would like to do a, a, actually an actual Christmas shopping vlog because I haven't bought anything. Only for two people in my family and that's it. So yeah, uh, let's hope, you know, like shop starts opening again and restaurants, especially restaurants because I like go, I like eating out. That's my thing. So yeah, thank you for watching and until my next video, bye-bye.